But yeah, uh, I did want to touch on the uh, the weakest point on our van is just uh, the rear overhang. You know, there's like three yeah. and a half feet back there. Um, mm-hmm. But when we did Ophir right here with uh, the new suspension, so the Q lift paired with uh, Bill Steen front uh, coilovers and rear rear shocks, uh, we had no no rub whatsoever on the rear at the hmm. the hairiest part of that that trail. So. Dude, that's wow. awesome. That's pretty cool. You should get a, get a uh, get a hitch skid that just goes all the way underneath. That, <laughs> yeah, I've I've looked at the the rear so many times. Like, man, if we could just like notch it, like just three feet of it gone right there, it'd be awesome. Right. And then it would start to look like an earth roamer or something. Yeah, or like a like a rally raid track, which I'm okay with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dakar's going right now. We can talk about. Dude, that. I was gonna yeah. say one of those huge <laughs> man trucks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so but yeah. how uh, how did you get to the van? I mean, what do you have like an automotive background in of yourself? Like, what led um, you to uh, to actually like building up something like this for your own business? Yeah, so um, we're all gearheads at Black Elk. Um, I've loved cars ever since. I don't even know as as long as I can remember. Um, I didn't really get into wheeling until um, I don't know, maybe five or six years ago, and we had just been shooting so much outdoor content and I looked at Trent. This is normally how most of our, our vehicle uh, company car decisions go. <laughs> I look at Trent and I say, Hey, here's the listing for this uh, 2010 400 trail. And we should go up there right now. <laughs> and he's like, and do what? And I'm like, and buy it. Like, let's was that the white it. one? Yeah. Uh, it's a, it was a silver one. Um, oh, okay. So that was our first company vehicle was a 2010 400 trail, um, which Good choice. yeah, it was man, uh, awesome. Did it have the, uh, did it have the party mode button for the? Yeah, it did. It had party mode and the the KD the KDSS. I think that's yep. what it's called. Yep. Um, for your locker, yeah, trails are good. Yeah, those things are hard it, to find. It was so capable, and I think we bought it for like, I want to say it was like 17 when we got it. What they're still yeah. seventeen for. Um, an early here's track. the thing though it, it it had been in two wrecks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one, <laughs> one that was awesome. yeah, one that was uh uh bad enough to to do something to the steering column, but it was at it was Ooh. it was rebuilt and ready to go, and it it didn't have any issues. Yeah, that right there. Mm, that is, so, in my mm, opinion, the best looking forerunner ever. Made. I I love I love that that uh front end on mm-hmm. that year model, and that yep. car was just awesome. So. We bought it because uh, it was we were using all of our Subarus to to do these jobs, um, <laughs> and things things were starting to get a little hairy for those uh, yeah those flat fours and those weak transmissions. So, um, mid glass. Yeah, so we ended up uh, building that out to kind of accommodate us on things, and then I actually uh, I met some Van Duke people at a a mountain biking race up here, and. Uh, Northwest Arkansas. So for for the listeners, Northwest Arkansas, mountain biking capital of the world. Uh, it's, yep. I don't know if it's really? officially that, but it's it it's is. It, it has to be. That's okay. There's, Connecticut's the pizza capital of the world, so hey. we got that. <laughs> yeah, sure. we have. I think we have like 500 miles of single track <laughs> mountain biking trails now, but um, it Holy just shit. keeps on growing. Yeah, it um, legitimately is, Russ. Wow, it's awesome. I, I had yeah. absolutely no idea, and I've done yeah. a fair share of mountain biking. Yeah, like uh, if you want to pull this up, while I'm, I'm talking right now. Look up a uh, caller. Uh, mountain biking preserve and just see if you can find any pictures of color mountain biking preserve are, are awesome. But anyway, um, Holy they had, <laughs> yeah, they had a booth and I walked over and I was like, these are sweet. And then they were like, yeah, we're in Missouri. And I was like, Oh, okay, cool. Um, and actually in the, in the middle of 2020, like right in the middle of pandemic, we, we ordered a van. Uh, I went off of a gut feeling, <laughs> I was like, when we when we get on the other side of this thing, we need to be ready to hit the ground running. And um, coincidentally, we we got the van and we started taking projects like like you know social distance projects out in the middle of the woods. Hmm. Uh, just kept our business alive, and then we ended up coming out on top. So uh, it's been great. But that that's how right. we got linked up with the vans. I've always liked adventure vans, but. Um, 